and I'm glad of so perfect. Welcome, thank you all so much for being here. My name is Eric Nagy, I am Scott Wilson's campaign manager. Uh, thank you, uh, that one. Uh, before we get started, a few people I just want to mention that were here or are still here. Ladies and gentlemen, have your attention please. Uh, first I want to recognize Chairwoman, Karen Vanderlyn. Yeah. Running a hell of an organization here, and just one success after another. So thank you for being here. Uh, I see our state representative Perry Warren. Yeah. As far as I know, there are two lower Bakefield supervisors here. Uh, Fred Weiss. Yeah. Majority, the majority of the problem with Chairman, John Lewis. Hey! I knew that. Council, Dave Bray here. Yeah. 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 I think I'm the only one. <laughs> well, we're glad to be in your And uh, Constable, uh, Constable Mike Watson is here. I don't know if he's still here, but thanks, Mike. Um, so, you didn't come to hear me, so I'm going to shut up. Uh, but before I do, I want to introduce to you a good friend of ours and a good friend to all of you and to the party, Steve Bacher. Hey! Thank you all for being here in my newish neighborhood. It's wonderful to see you all, to see so many of the wonderful people I met during the campaign. It's a great honor for me to be here to speak in full 100%, 5 million percent support of Scott Wallace. Thank you for coming and have a great night. I can't, I, you don't want to, you didn't come to hear me speak either, so have a great night. Thanks for being here. You may have come to hear her though. Our Commissioner Diane Marcello. Yay. 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 Hey, welcome everybody. This is great to see everyone here. I, I parked in March still again here, which is great. Yay. I think I was just thinking as I walked in here, Jesus, you told me ten okay. years ago we would be in control of Lower Mayfield and we'd be in control of Warminster and all the little boroughs we have all over the place. I would have told you there's no way. But if you told me two years ago that Donald Trump was going to win, I wouldn't have been that. But it goes to show what happens when people get behind something. So this time, we're going to take that wave that we just had last November, gave me people to have lunch with at the courthouse, and we're going to extend it one more time. I was at Ann's Choice today speaking to a group, and usually like, it's, an, it's a progressive Democratic group, but usually there's 10 people there. There were 70 people in the room today. Yeah. Right now, uh, I would not be nervous. But our country 
has slid into a dark place, and it is up to us, not just me, but everybody in this room, uh, every voter in Bucks and Sliver in Montgomery County, to do something about it. Uh, I need all of your help. We gotta bring back healthcare. It's been stabbed in the back, it's been kicked, it's lying on the ground. <laughs> It's been sabotaged. The, the education system is being sabotaged by Betsy DeVos. Uh, oh, she's she's got to go. I mean, this is outrageous. She should be in prison. Frank, I, that's my personal theory. <laughs> Her and Scott Pruitt, they violated their oath of office. They put their hand on the Bible and said, I swear to faithfully execute the laws of the United States. And they're faithfully, unfaithfully undermining the laws. And if I can go to prison for, for taking an oath and violating it in a court of law for perjury, they should be. Uh, prosecuted for what they're doing to America. Um, yeah. So uh, we got to restore health care. I'm personally in favor of Medicare for all. We will get there. We got to ban assault weapons, high capacity magazines. Brian Fitzpatrick won't touch that. He runs around saying, uh, I'm, I'm going to be anti-gun, or I'm going to do everything possible to make you safe from guns. But he won't do anything about guns. He talks about school safety, metal detectors, more guards in schools, but he won't do a damn thing about guns. Uh, we've got to rein in the polluters. We've, Brian Fitzpatrick has voted for every single one of these uh, regulatory repeals that comes through Congress, uh, repealing regulations on clean air, clean water, uh, climate change, withdrawal from the Paris Accord, uh, and regulating Wall Street, and payday lending. Every single one of those is fine with him. And we've got to put a stop to that. We've got to restore some sanity and decency for the sake of the people. These regulations weren't passed to make corporate lives difficult. They were passed to help the people. And we've got to stand up and return to fact-based, evidence-based regulation of uh, pollution and other uh, predations by uh, Wall Street and uh, the, the huge industries in America. Yeah. Yeah. So this district is the most important in America, I think. And a sign of that is, you may have seen some of the TV ads now, the, the billionaires, the Las Vegas gambling billionaires, and the Koch brothers, and uh, Carl Rove is after me. Uh, this stuff, they're, there's going to be tens of millions of dollars poured into this district in an effort to distract and lie to the people of this district. And we have to, we are not going to be deterred. We're going to go up and we're going to go up on TV tomorrow to respond to this crap. Uh, yeah. respond to every one of these attacks because uh, they are freaking out that this district is the bellwether. This is the canary in the gold mine. If they lose this district, they lose the house. No. That's right. And yeah. 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 Finally. Brian Fitzpatrick uh, has a solution to political corruption in America. Take more money. It is uh, term limits. He went and talked to Donald Trump and said, I've got a solution. It's term limits. Because at 12 years, you're fine, but at 13 years, you become corrupt. So we're going to turn you into I said, it. corruption is not because you stayed there too. It's because you took money, you took bribes to do things for the corporations. So do something about money and politics. Yeah. 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 banning corporate money in politics completely in 1906. Now we've had the Supreme Court say, okay, you've got a constitutional right to pollute the political discourse, but we will fix that. If it takes a constitutional amendment, we'll, we've got to commit to doing that. Otherwise, we will do public financing, we will do mandatory disclosure of campaign contributions so that corporate money in politics becomes toxic for the corporations. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 So this race is attracting national attention 
it is huge in the control of the entire Congress. Uh, we also need to take back the Senate, of course. I don't want to distract from that achievable mission. But if you want to retake at least one House of Congress and have some Democrats who will hold the hearings and hold the, hold the feet to the fire of the Trump administration, uh, we have to win this district and we have to retake the entire House. And it all comes down to the people in this room and the many, many great volunteers who are stepping forward. We've got people coming from California, from yeah. red, deep red or deep blue districts that are just so passionate about retaking the House of Representatives and they know that this is where it's happening. People are streaming in from all over this country to this district because Coke Brothers and all this, this alien corporate gambling casino money is coming in and they want to fight back against that. So with your help and the help of lots of citizens on the street knocking on doors, we are going to go face to face with every voter in this district and we're going to do this we are going to retake this district and kick Brian Fitzpatrick back to California. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you all for coming. I want to acknowledge my wonderful wife, Christy. Yeah. And yeah. the one next to her is our baby boy, Robert. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Let's go. Yeah.